Alright, so how's it going fellas? I hope you all are doing well. So, that vegan teacher is back at it again, and she's worse than ever before. I'm pretty sure you know who that vegan teacher is, but in case you really didn't know, which I highly doubt you don't, that vegan teacher is a vegan rights activist who uses her platform to promote veganism in the most horrible way. In fact, some of the stuff she has done on the platform is just awful. She used the Black Lives Matter trend to just promote veganism, and she's spreading so much misinformation and misleading stuff that it's honestly just cringe. So I study on an eco farm so I can pretty much debunk a lot of her points regarding how to treat animals in the meat industry. So yeah, I have a lot of insider in the meat industry. Now, that vegan teacher used to, uh, you know, have the name that vegan teacher, but she got terminated. Then she had an account name miss.kd.vegan.school that one got terminated after a fucking day or so and now she has an account that's named that vegan teacher who cares now i'm pretty sure this account is a real account there is a discord link attached to her account which apparently directs to her discord server which i really didn't know existed but apparently do so what does she post on this account yeah it's a uh, <laughs> It's the same as usual. It's either re-uploads of her old tech talks or just some completely new ones. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I am known as Miss Katie, that vegan teacher on an app called TikTok. Recently, my account was banned. I worked for 11 months, 18 hours a day to accumulate 1.7 million followers. 1.7 million followers that you really don't deserve. And this comes from me, all right? You know, I really don't deserve my 300K followers, all right? You know, my 339K followers as of recording of this video, you know. I really don't deserve them either, alright. But there is a far difference between making meme compilation that only takes 4 hours of work to literally spreading misinformation and bullshit, you know. There is a vast majority regarding the difference here. And what I was doing there is speaking out on behalf of the defenseless. Humans that are victims, the planet, and also animals that are victims. If in any way I offended anybody with my activism, I apologize for that. Yeah, it's nice to see the fact that you apologize, but you really offended every single person. Like every person who watched your videos. They got offended, alright? They they wanna goddamn throw the screen out of the window, right? You know the monitor I'm looking at right now? You know, when I, whenever I see your videos, I kind of want to squish it together and throw it out of the window. I mean, you can call me an aggressive monkey, you know, um, but your videos just really makes me mad. I was only doing what everybody else is doing, joking around, interacting in a public way with everyone. We all know that's a lie. You basically used your platform to harass other content creators and to try and make them vegan. Like your sexualized tummy in it, who's a minor. But as usual, your attempts always fail. But why do they fail? Well, it's because it's just wrong. Misinformation, bullshit, cringe, and all that, you know. It's wrong in all directions. And I mean, straight up saying that Gordon Ramsay is hurting animals, you know, um, that doesn't sound like a joke to me. I mean, or at least it's a bad one. I do not want to hurt anybody's feelings. In fact, I want to bring everyone together. You ain't hurting anyone's feelings. You're just making us mad. And no, you're not making the community going together, alright? The vegan community actually despise you because of the way you treat vegans, right? Like, you're making vegans look pretty fucking bad, while most are some pretty cool people, you know? If I named specific groups of people, it wasn't because I was prejudiced against them. It was because I truly believe that we can all unite together to protect the environment and each other. And of course the animals. Human survival is more important to be honest. But if you really just want to make people go together right, vegans and normal people, then don't goddamn use all of this like bullshit to promote veganism alright. Don't goddamn harass people, don't goddamn sexualize people, don't attack people alright. You don't learn by your mistakes. It's really that simple. All of this doesn't really take any big IQ to understand. Like if you really think promoting veganism in a really harsh way is gonna make people vegan, then I'm afraid to say that you are absolutely wrong. It makes me want to eat even more meat. So I ask that you please help me to get my account reinstated. Please write to TikTok and ask them to bring that vegan teacher back. You know what that means? That means more content for us, you know? But on the serious note, no. You need to be stay off platform. Like, you don't deserve a platform if you use it to attack people. If you use it to goddamn spread misinformation. Like, it's self-explanatory. 
There is a reason why you're terminated. She also went after the content creator known as Trisha Paytas by saying this. Eating animals is wrong, Trisha Paytas. Hurting animals is wrong, Trisha Paytas. Share this song and change your entire life to be vegan from now on. Holy shit, you didn't have to roast her on that, you know. God damn. I mean, at this point, she can be the new Leafy, right? However, I'm pretty sure Trisha Paytas doesn't even give a shit. She's gonna eat meat. We all gonna eat meat. It's not gonna work. I mean, the odds of people becoming vegan because of you is so small. In fact, it's smaller than me finding a girlfriend. And that shit is so small, man. That shit's microscopic, right, you know? She also dissed one of her own vegan friends, I guess, if you even can call it that. Happy birthday to you. Nobody belongs in a zoo, although you kind of look like a monkey. But since you're vegan, I know that's a compliment to you. Happy birthday! I mean, one of the worst things you can be called at birthday is a monkey. If you can call her a monkey, she can call you a skeleton. Then it's pretty much fair, right? <laughs> it's fair. And you're not right. There are some people that belong into a zoo. Uh, you are one of them. You know, you, you gotta go onto the zoo and just eat some crash. You know, you gotta go outside, touch some crash. Because that's really just where it belongs to at the moment. Like this poor girl, right? She's gonna grow up, watch your videos. She's gonna be depressed for her entire life because you called her a monkey. F in the chat, boys. So yeah, you know, I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here, you know, I really don't have that much time left on my hands, right? And yeah, this is just too much cringe for me. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I went through so much cringe today that it's absolutely insane, so a like would be appreciated. Follow me on Twitter at Nick and Mike Clips. Subscribe if you're new. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful, amazing day. See you in the next video. Peace out. Love ya.